Right then guys, RS600i literally just arrived, came out the back of a shuttle. In fact, it beat me in, if I'm honest. But I just said to the lads, have you cleaned it? They said, no, it arrived just like that. Oh, I've just been upstairs looking for some paperwork, oh, I see. Loads. Here. Yep. Voices, old tax discs, loads of bits all, all adding up. Like. Quite a lot, so, okay. Um, yeah, loads of bits and pieces there, look, which is nice. I noticed the V5 said just four former keepers, which is a big bonus. Now, Jack said, why is it hunting a little bit on idle? Uh, which it is. Uh, idle speed control valve there. You probably get away with cleaning that out, Jack. I mean, obviously, we're not, we can't touch it, but... Um, but there you are. And while we're on the subject, we better just have a quick look in there. There you go. Invoice in, uh, there, for them. invoice in there for them. Can't see much in the way of an engine number on it. Normally speaking, there's a little bit of something on there, which is a. Everywhere else looks about right, guys. Nice round the fuse box area there. Still got the correct lid, strut top expansion tank and so forth she's been painted across the scuttle there a slam panel should i say let me just turn this one off turn that one off for a minute battery tray looks like it's been done in the past but looks like it's been done a long time ago they just about all had battery trays didn't they unfortunately that was a a weak spot as time went on tag there first tag and then second tag it's got a nice bit of paint on there that's for sure it is um, amazing really that some of these are still with us because let's face it they uh, they weren't built to last were they uh, and while we're on about tags and numbers there there you go and I'm just gonna have a look under the floor I haven't yet um, I'll just pinch that mat for a second if I may. I'll just have a quick look under the floor. A little bit of softness there, nothing major, but just making sure that that area there has no fiddling with, and it all looks about right to me. It all looks about right there. Right, give that a knock, pop that back in there. Nice on the uh, skins there and the shuts. Let's have a look on the dash. No cracks on the dash, dash all looks nice. Could just do with a period radio popping in there when you get a minute. Tilt and slide, oh I love the Ford tilt and slides. Oh yeah, tells you where reverse is. Look, push down for reverse. Nice and clean and smart in here, guys. Usual bit of sagginess on the seat. The material never did keep tight. Other than that, nice in there. And then in a spare wheel. All boot floor all looks good. Look sound in there. It's a little bit on that lip, nothing to speak of, just a little bit there. Again, good on the door skins, door shuts, they're all nice and clean. Jack said there's a fair bit of paperwork with it I think he must have just taken it inside and wants to go with the rest as I mentioned earlier when we started doing the video it's just four former keepers listed on the v5 I remember putting one of them on when I was about 15 worrying to death that I drilled the holes in the wrong place we only got two little brackets Nice on the arch. Still got some spot weld marks on the arch round there. All nice and crispy on there, that's good. There are some little bleed 
runs on the paint on there. Can you see him in the camera? Almost looks like someone's maybe put a bit of detergent on the in the engine bay and it's just bled through. Again, nice and crispy on there. Still got the rubbers in there, which is nice. Scuttle's good, around the screen's all good. Let's have a look at this arch. Yeah, that's good, is that? Again, you can still see some of the spot weld marks on there. sums it up guys I think the next step perhaps is to come down and have a look see what you think just the one row of numbers on the wheels but anyway there you are guys it looks an absolute eyeful I must admit they're getting few and far between now, aren't they? And they are a bonny looking car. They really are. So it's with us down at Pickering. The idea of the videos and photographs is that, is to give you guys an idea, then you can work out whether it's worth traveling to come and have a look and just do your own checks. Make sure it's one for you. And I suggest you do. We've got a lot of RS stuff in again this time. We always have a big selection. We're quite lucky. Just gonna move on to the Sierra in a minute. Uh, we have more than our fair share, I would suggest, of uh, fast forwards. So, bob down, have a look, see what you think.